Can you believe that little people, big world, first hit our screens in 2006? Yes, folks, it's been almost two decades of following the intriguing lives of the Roloff family. For those new to the show, it's centered around the Roloffs, parents Matt and Amy, and their kids Zach, Jeremy, Molly, and Jacob. Fast forward to today, and we're at the emotional finale of season 25. It's been a heartfelt journey, and it's hard to say goodbye. But before we get all teary-eyed, let's talk about a special moment that recently happened. At a fundraiser for the Dwarf Athletic Association of America, DA, Amy Roloff took center stage to share some powerful insights. For nearly five decades, Amy has been an active participant in the DAA, and her dedication shone brightly as she addressed the crowd at Roloff Farms. She shared how the association taught her invaluable lessons about resilience and starting anew, regardless of life's setbacks. Even if you lose, you learn how to pick yourself up and start over again. This is what DA meant to me, Amy expressed, captivating those in attendance with her words of wisdom and encouragement. Now, you might be wondering, why is the DA so significant? Well, Amy, alongside her husband Chris Merrick and ex-husband Matt Roloff, with his girlfriend Karen Chandler, hosted this impactful fundraiser right before the grand finale aired on April 23rd. Amy emphasized the foundation of the DA, stating, DAA was formed because they wanted to give those with dwarfism a chance to play sports. She highlighted the importance of sustaining this organization not only for her generation, but for the future ones as well. Amy's passion didn't stop there. She elaborated on the transformative power of sports in the lives of individuals with dwarfism, saying, just having the opportunity to play and be in that environment, even for a moment, makes a huge difference. It's clear that for Amy and many others, DAA is more than an association. It's a beacon of hope and a source of strength. Turning back to Little People, Big World, this show has offered more than just entertainment. It has opened a window into the daily lives of the Roloff family on their 36-acre farm in Helvetia, Oregon. Over the years, Viewers have witnessed the family navigate life's ups and downs, from the joys of weddings and grandchildren to the challenges of divorce and new beginnings. The show has beautifully depicted how Matt, Amy, and their son Zach, who all have dwarfism, alongside their other children of average height, embody resilience and unity. The series also spawned a spin-off, Little People Big World, Wedding Farm, which focuses on Matt and Amy's venture into the wedding business on their farm. It's a testament to their entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to family, even amidst personal changes. As we bid farewell to this beloved series, I want to hear from you. What has Little People, Big World meant to you? How do you view the impact of organizations like the DA in promoting inclusivity and opportunity? Drop your stories and thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to read them. If you found today's video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to keep watching for more. Thanks for joining today, and until next time, take care and keep the conversations going. Bye, guys.